Welcome to Chris and Barry Fieldhouse here on the beautiful campus of Augusta University. It's our pregame show on the Augusta University Athletic Network on YouTube as we are getting set for the beginning of conference play as the Augusta Jaguar women's basketball team getting set to take on Georgia College. I'm Robert Ambrose joined by Blake Collins here for our pregame special and Blake, the Jaguars, it's off to a slow start this season. Georgia College is as well, but these are two very young teams that can grow a lot in the coming years as well. The Jaguars this season, interestingly enough, go 0-3 here at home and 1-0 on the road. What do they have to do to get a home win here today? One, one of the things, though, too, is when you speak about the, the young teams that both these squads have, with Augusta, it's finding chemistry. They're slowly starting to build build that rapport the, the the total points are starting to get closer together they're starting to find their style of gameplay come up with chemistry and be able to put better games out on the court and make these games a lot closer than what they were at the start of the season with with them being a young group on the court as well it is going to take some time but you're starting to see the fruition of the chemistry starting to come to fruition a little bit for them it's good it's going to be a solid test because Georgia College is pretty accurate as well from the two-point land or and in the paint so it's, it's going to be interesting to see also how the defense from Augusta responds to the attack that Georgia College will put out absolutely and Blake interestingly enough in the Jaguars opener Mm -hmm. They were absolutely embarrassed by 43 points to Barton on November 9th, 89 to 46. However, mm -hmm. in their other two losses since then, they've lost by 10 and 12, and they beat Payne by 17 in their one win this season. So they've been getting, they've, they've gotten better since that first game, but they still have a long way to go, obviously. Right, and the and the accuracy, the shot selection and the accuracy on the offense for the Jags is crucial, as well as ball movement and speed as well. You're starting to see a little bit, a little bit more a little bit better shot selection out of the Jaguars and when they are able to have space and separate themselves from the defenders they're they're becoming more accurate from the arc and from the paint as well so creating space is another crucial element to it but it's going to be it would be dependent on how the game plan comes to fruition against a very tight defense of Georgia College as well absolutely and in that, that first game, they, they really struggled from the field. It mm -hmm. seemed like they were having good looks, but shots just flat out weren't falling. It, it just wasn't their day, Blake. But, you know, since then, like you said, if the shot selection does get a little better, maybe the shots will start falling, even with some good looks. And if the shots can start falling a lot better, things results can happen. Yeah, and, and two, it's, it's all about how you set that up, too, because if you go with a screen and you go with a, with a pick off of that and then shoot where you have more space, and if you have a better look at the shot, then nine times out of ten, the shot that you'll put up will be more accurate. So it's about separation, looks, and then also the conversion on the back end. But it's also about the strategy and how you set up that play to get the best shot available. Because with a, with a defense guarding you, like we, we've seen from, um, like we've seen a little bit from the last team that came in to Chris and Mary's old house and how tight that defense was with Benedict coming in with them being a similar style of defense with Georgia College it may be, it's going to be a critical juncture to see how that separation game works and to see how accurate the Jazz can be going into today's contest and that may be the, dif the difference of the game absolutely we look forward to bringing this one to you this is the first conference game of the season it's also our first game of a doubleheader today as the Jaguar men play their conference opener against Georgia College at 2 p.m. this afternoon. We'll have all the action for you on the Augusta University Athletics Network on YouTube. When we come back, we will give you some scores from around the league. Stay tuned. Welcome back here to Chris and Barry Fieldhouse. I'm Robert Evers, joined by Blake Collins here for our pregame special. I'll take a look at some other scores from around the league. As you already know, Georgia College taking on Augusta University beginning in just under 10 minutes. And at 1.30, we have five other games getting underway today. Georgia Southwestern across the border taking on USC Aiken. North Georgia takes on Francis Marion. And Young Harris taking on UNC Pembroke. And Clayton State taking on Flagler at 1.30. And final game of the day, Columbus State taking on Lander University. And it, it's just so exciting, Blake. Now all of a sudden, conference play is in full swing starting today. 
Absolutely, and with that is going to be stiffer competition, much like you'll see in the championship football games today as well. Because you've got Georgia and Alabama, Ohio State and Northwestern, and Oklahoma and Texas, to, just, just to name a few, to start off in football as well. But you talk about stiffer competition, when it comes to conference play, the defenses get tighter, the strategies get more stronger, they become more integral in opening things up. So it's gonna be, it'll be interesting to see how the Jags respond here in the conference opener against Georgia College and how, and how this plays out because not only that, but when, when you look at it, the top, top four teams ho host a, um, a, a playoff matchup. So it should be, should be interesting to start, to start this out but with the competition at bay here with Georgia College, it's gonna, it's gonna be a really good upstanding game. And when you have the defenses like it is, it should be a really fun game to watch. It absolutely should. And we mentioned earlier, Blake, mm -hmm. here today that shot selection is important and the Jaguars have gotten better at that as the season has gone on so far. But with the tougher defenses as we get into conference play, shot selection is gonna get tougher and that's a huge key to success in today's game for the Jaguars. Oh, ab absolutely. And then not only that, but on the defensive end for the Jags too, to crack down where there have been, there have been gaping holes, like transitional play, you would like to see them get better at that. We'll see if Georgia College actually exposes that a little bit here today as well because Benedict played a fast transitional game and the Jags, more times than not, oftentimes could not catch up to that style of gameplay when they implemented that. So we'll see how that amps up. But for Georgia College, it's just to throw the Jags off of their style of defense and play in play the Georgia College game. Because if you force the Jags to play the, jo the Georgia College style of game, it's not going to be pretty for the Jags. Yeah, absolutely not. And the Jaguars, they, they fell the in the Benedict game 69 to 57, 10 days ago. This is their first game since that time. And by mm -hmm. the way, Blake, this is also the Jaguars' last home game of the calendar year 2018. They yep. will not return home again until January 5th, as crazy as that sounds. We'll take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll bring you the starting lineups and get this game started here on the Gus University Athletics Network on YouTube. I'm Robert Ambrose. Stay tuned. <laughs> 